Hey everybody, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today's Word Wednesday is going to be quite different. Actually, today's Word Wednesday was inspired by Katie. She's a good friend of mine over at Heritage Ways. You should really check out her channel. Her and her family are just beautiful. And one of the things that she had said in her recent video um, was how much that we need to be paying attention to our men because our men are being blasted in spiritual warfare. They are being pummeled daily, their manlyhood and everything that is a man and has been ordained by God as being manly is being torn away um, spiritually. So today's Word Wednesday, like Katie, this is for my husband. Um, it is for all men across the world, but it is mainly for my husband because he is the one man who is always there. He is my rock, um, and he's just he's just always there for me. And I want to uplift him and bless him and share him with you. So I'm going to be sharing some scripture, but I'm also going to be sharing some photos of what my husband has meant to me over the years. He stepped into our life when um, I already had three children of my own and he didn't have any children of his own and he stepped up and he became their dad and he is still their dad and he is an amazing man and I just want to share and uplift him and I pray that this is a blessing to you and to all men and that you will take the time to uplift and bless the men in your life as well. Okay, I'm going to start with Genesis 2:24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Ephesians 5:22 through 24. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Titus 2, 4, and 5. And so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Proverbs 31, 11, and 12. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. Ecclesiastes 4.9 Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 5 Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Ephesians 4.2 Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. 1 Peter 4.8 Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Mark 10.9 Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate.